Well, I'm about to try something that I'll probably regret. You know, catch and cook videos are all the craze lately, and I had an idea last night. May or may not be a good idea, and I might get a lot of heat for this, but uh, I realize no one's done a catch and cook on Helgramites, which are these god-awful larvae um, of Dobson flies from hell. They, uh, they have like six little legs up front, big pair of pinchers on their head, and then a long uh, gut-filled tail on them. And they're pretty, uh, they're really durable. They're, they're, it's gonna be tough to chew through them. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be lovely. First we gotta collect some Helga mites though. Man, there's so many dang mosquitoes here. I'm gonna be taking this bottle just to fill it up with Helga mites as well as I can. My scene net, of course. I'm gonna place this in the river and then uh, push the rocks around with my feet in front of it. And it should catch some Helga mites for me. And I'm just taking this pole just for shits and giggles. See what happens. The jungle. The jungle. Oh baby, she's boiling. I see her down there. She is flooded. I hope we can still get some Helgramites. They gotta still be there. Where else are they gonna go? To Florida or something? Ugh. Ugh. There's a Helgramite. Yeehaw, I caught one. Awesome. First Helgramite of the day. Bunch of crayfish too. I keep getting a lot of crayfish. All right, this is just a small one. Let's see if we can get a few more. Two Helgramites, baby. This is looking promising. I only really wanted like four, but if they're gonna keep coming in pairs, I might take quite a few. Have myself a real meal. <laughs> See, I just take them over to my little, my little jug here. I put next to someone's trash, and I place them on in there. So that's three now. Cool. I just move it downstream ever so slightly and kick up all the rocks and keep moving it. There's one, that's a Helgramite. I got one right there. Is this a leech? I think I got a leech too. Yeah, that's a leech. Weird. Leech and a Helgramite. There's another one. Oh, there's one too. Cool. I got two in that pass. I would say I got enough to try them out. I think I'm going to fry them. I don't know though. What do you guys think would be best? Well, that was a lot faster than I thought it would be. I thought it would be super flooded. And uh, 
and I wouldn't be able to get out to where the Helgramites were. That's why most of them are small ones though, they're edge Helgramites. I didn't get any big honking ones. This ain't the Helgramite water, don't worry. I brought water and tea with me. Oh my god. The, the problem in New York is whenever it's hot, it's also humid. <sighs> so I'm sweating up a storm. It's hard work kicking rocks around. I was only doing it for a few minutes for those Helgramites, but even a little bit is hard work. It's like raking hay or something. Like wet hay. You know, or shoveling snow. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Yeehaw! Gotta not get stuck. Yeehaw, baby. Uh-oh. Why is the air so warm? Dang it. Okay. Come on, baby. You can do it. No, no, no. Shit. We made it, I think. Awesome. Four wheel drive for the win. Oh, I like my steak blue rare. So, if you thought I was going to eat these all fried, you're wrong. I'm going to eat one plain and then the rest fried. There she is. Oh my god. It tastes like rotten shrimp. <laughs> oh god. That was disgusting. Alright, let's do it again ten more times after we fry him. <laughs> Yuck. Alright ladies. It's time for the cook part. Over here I got some breadcrumbs with oregano, uh, basil, and salt. The whole goal of this is to make these things not taste like what they taste like. I'm just going to boil them, um, or not boil them, uh, fry them whole, kind of like you do with a lobster into a boiling pot. So I get them covered with egg. I'm going to cover them with breadcrumbs. Then I'm going to toss them in there. Perfect. I think this is the one that died from the rock. A little egg. Fun fact, if you put hot water on these things, they go crazy. I already tried it on accident. The tap water came out hot. And they just started going nuts in my hands. And now they've calmed down again. You want to pack the breadcrumbs in good. Hopefully they taste like a, like a little potato chip or something and not like uh, rotten shrimp like they did before. That'll be the last time you bite me, you bugger. Just like boiling a lobster. That's a good one. I couldn't find any of the jumbos. I think that's because I couldn't wait out far enough to to uh, to see the right water. The bi the big ones are like out in the middle under the bigger flat rocks, usually. And like there's these little ones on the edge. Whoa! Didn't splash with oil. Okay. There they are, man. 
my little crispies. I really hope these things don't taste as bad as the plain one did. All right, it's time to flip. Here, golden brown. Carefully. Perfect. I think they're all flipped now. Yeah. Nice. Cooking pretty fast. Yep. They'll be done soon. Alright, it's time to take these little guys out. Put them on the paper towel. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Kitty, go away. Come on. Oh my gosh. Now if they taste good, I'm going to want to go get more. Alright, there's the last little piece. I don't have very steady hands, if you noticed. But there we go. Just wait for him to cool. And then bon appetit. Well, here they are. There goes nothing. That's actually really good. That's much better than plain. Holy cow. Yeah, I, I can't I can't really tell the difference between these and like fried vegetables. Deep fried vegetables. Oh there it is. You're, I'm getting a little bit of that disgusting taste, but not as bad. Hmm. It's like an aftertaste now. Okay. You're getting gross. Probably gonna puke. Mm. Oh yuck. All right, let's just get this over with. Mm. Oh, that's gross. It tastes awful. It tastes like fried rotten shrimp now. <laughs> Could have called that one. Could have seen that one coming. Alright, all done. It was better than the plain one, but not enough where I'd want to ever do that again. First time I've done it, also the last time I've done it. <laughs> yeah, have such a weird taste to them. Like, I, I imagine they would taste like, uh, like, just by how they smell. I was thinking they were going to taste like carpet mixed with piss, but they taste like just weird, rotten, shrimpy disgustingness. I don't know which taste is better. Never tried the first one. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed my suffering. <laughs> I'll see you in the next vlog.